In this video, we're going to map out Bordeaux, talk about what styles of wine are made there, and how to read a Bordeaux wine label. This is part of our full Bordeaux episode, where I took an aerial tour of the region, which is why I'm in a plane for this segment. And definitely watch the full episode if you have time. But for now, here's Bordeaux 101. While I'm getting my tour of the region, allow me to give you yours. Bordeaux runs along the 45th parallel, which is known as one of the great winemaking lines of latitude in the world. This parallel also runs through parts of the Rhone Valley, Piedmont, and the Willamette Valley in Oregon. The largest AOC in Bordeaux is simply that, the Bordeaux AOC. For the base level of Bordeaux AOC, the grapes can come from anywhere in Bordeaux, and the rules are pretty minimal. There's also a bunch of subcategories, but just know that this level has the most flexibility. The next level is Bordeaux Superior. These wines can also come from anywhere in Bordeaux, but have stricter requirements for the grapes and aging. Okay, now let's get to the real fun stuff, the commune AOCs. Here at the top level, there are fairly strict geographic and quality controls in place. There are two main parts to Bordeaux, the left bank and the right bank. If you only take away one thing from this entire conversation, remember this, places in the left bank or the left side of the river make Cabernet Sauvignon based blends and places on the right bank make Merlot based blends. Got it? Good. Now while there are 65 different AOCs in Bordeaux, there's a few worth calling out. The left bank is the most well known for the Médoc, Homédoc and Grave. Within these AOCs, you'll find the five most famous communes that produce all the wines we talked about earlier in the 1855 classification. On the right bank, you have equally famous Merlot producing communes, Pomerol and saint emilion Where the river splits is the aptly named Entre du Mer, which means between two tides, and is known for its dry wines from Sauvignon Blanc and Semillon blends. You have Sauterne and Barsac, famous for their Botrytis dessert wines from Semillon. And finally, you've got the laid back Côte de Bordeaux, which are five appellations spread across the region that produce all colors and styles. If a wine happens to have a classification of some sort, it's in addition to these location-based AOCs. So let's do a few actual examples with bottles. Check out this label. The chateau name is the producer. Homedoc is the AOC, or the place where the wine was made. Since we know Homedoc is on the left bank, we know this is a Cabernet Sauvignon-based blend. The Cru Bourgeois is a special classification awarded in addition to the commune designation. Let's do another. The producer is the chateau. Saint-Emilion is the place, and since we know it's on the right bank, it's a Merlot-based blend with more specific quality controls. And Grand Cru Classé is a classification awarded in addition to the commune designation. The more labels you see, the more it makes sense. There are a bunch of smaller communes all over Bordeaux that have plenty of great value wines as well. You might have to do some Googling at first to learn their names, but that's okay, I do it too. All right, I'd say it's time to get back on land and somewhere I'm a little more comfortable. Thank you very, very much. That was awesome. It's cool. Hey, Vince here. I hope you learned a little bit about Bordeaux. And if you want to learn more about Bordeaux, go check out our full episode, which is available here or on our page, as well as our other episodes, because they're all pretty fun. See you soon.